Hey everybody, we're at Adam and Shuloyo back again with another video. Today we're reacting to another family crime video. Man gets scammed by fake job. Let's get into this, guys. Good morning. I said good morning. Morning, sis. Why you sound so down? Because I haven't been able to find a decent job yet. Don't worry, you'll find one. I know, but how long is it going to take? I don't know, bro. But what I do know is that whatever God does for you, it's always on time. Yeah, I know. But the rent's due. And we need more food in this house. My car note needs to be paid. You just gotta be patient. God is what? What? God is what, Drew? Always on time. Exactly. I knew they so would just be patient. Up. I told you, I would help you until you find a job. I got you. I know. But I really don't want you to have to do all that. I'm your sister, Drew. I'm gonna always help you when you need me to. I know. But I'm so used to doing it on my own. And this is different now. I just need to get back on it, you know? And you will. Oh, look. I think I got something. You missing? It's a work from home job. Have you read this? Yes, and it seemed like a really good position. It sounds like a scam. Liberty, I need a job. I know, but you gotta understand, I told you I would help you. You don't have to rush into this. I get that, but there's something I wanna do, you know? Right now, he's like just impatient. He's trying to get some. He's in a rush because he, he don't like being without a job. So that's how he's feeling. Something I want so you don't have to. It says that you have to pay for the equipment up front. No job makes you pay for anything up front. And if right. they do, they just take it out your first check. Your well, school. maybe this is different. It's not. And you're too smart to let this knock you off your toes, Drew. Come on. Look, this is my decision to make, so. I wouldn't be a big sister if I didn't warn you ahead of time, Drew. <sighs> just leave it, okay? I'm applying. All right, just be careful. I will. Oh, look, she will apply instantly. She want me to come tomorrow. All right. <laughs> I love you. Yeah. I love you too, sis. Jail. Oh, hey. Hi. Thanks for meeting me here. Yes, likewise. Yes. My name is Jane. I'm Drew. Um, so if you don't mind, could you tell me about the position a little bit more in detail? Yeah, sure, no problem. It's a stay-at-home job, and you'll be working with special clients that order medical supplies. Okay. Uh, what type of medical supplies? Yeah, uh, they order gloves, masks, sharp containers, you know, supplies like that. Okay. All right, now on the website, it says it pays up to $25 an hour. Is that starting pay? No, the starting pay for this position is $17 an hour. All right, I guess that's not bad. Not bad. No job is bad if it's paying you, right? Yeah, you're right. Oh, I'm almost so right. Got something for you here. Here's my resume. Okay. Looks good. But, you know, I won't be needing this. Oh, you know what? On second thought, I forgot. Our website be having glitches and things like that. So, it's always good to have a hard copy. So I just keep it, okay? Okay. But um, did you bring the money for the equipment? Of course, but I got a question. How long would it take for me to get the equipment? Uh, usually it takes about three to five business days. Okay, and when would I start once y'all review the information? Normally, after you apply, uh, the start date is always about two and a half weeks after you apply. Two and a half weeks? I mean, why the start date so far out? Look, it's a process, okay? And you have to go through all the required steps for this position. This is the last position. And you don't want to miss out on this great opportunity, do you? All right, you're right. So how much the equipment fee is? Okay, it's $300 for the equipment. And that includes the equipment fee plus shipping, Drew. Did he not got it? Here's three hundred. All right, great. Everything looks good. Just because she looked professional, don't mean she not a scammer. 
good and I will get the equipment ordered and just be looking out for it, okay? All right, um, I'll be getting a tracking number. Uh, you should get a tracking number within two days and I'll either email it to you. Do she got his email? Do you got his information? Or I'll send it through a text. Okay, right, would you be needing my phone number? No, I have your resume. I have everything I need right here. Okay, okay, okay. I'm so sorry, man. You know, this is my first time applying for a home job. So. It's okay. Everything will be fine, okay? And congratulations again, Drew, for on your new position. Thank you, Miss Jane. Hope to see you soon. Yes, congratulations. Have a good day, Miss Jane. He ain't about the right Sucker. Hey, bro, what's going on? Man, I'm just excited about this equipment coming in tomorrow. How do you know it's coming, though? I thought you said the tracking number didn't work. I talked to Jane, and she said she doesn't know why the tracking number doesn't work, but uh, she contact UPS, and it's on his He sent him a false tracking number. Way out. And you really believe They're not going to know what he's talking about. Some people not going to give you a tracking hey. number that don't work. If it was a scam, then why would Jane keep in contact with me? I don't know, but it sounds fishy. Well, we'll see tomorrow, then. Drew, I can't believe you get it one million money like that. Listen, man, I did what I need to do to get the job. But you don't have to pay for a job. I don't know why you keep spiraling like this. You know, I told you I would help you. Spiraling? I mean, why don't you trust me in a decision I'm making? Because you're making a dumb one. How? The same money you gave a stranger is the same money you could have used towards the rent. Right. You keep making decisions like this, I'm not going to help you. For real? Yes. You keep making irrational decisions. That's going to affect the both of us. Is somebody in the house? Is that her in the house? That's what I'm trying to make sure of, and you judging me for that. Look, I don't want to... Bruh, how'd she get in the house? You hear that? Hey, what? Oh, shoot, somebody is in here. I'm going to get my gun. Your gun? Focus, Drew. Who's in here? I have a gun. He not paying no. I'm gonna count to three. One. You gotta tell him to focus. Two. Don't shoot. Take the mask off. Drew Clark Cops. Already on. Please, look. I'll take my mask off. Take it off now. Jane, what the heck you doing here? Doing what I need to do. And what is that? You handed me the money so easily. I figured she was going to go to Wow, so you take advantage of people that's at their worst? Yeah. You make it easier for people like me. Wow. How do you even know where you lived? It was on his resume. Look, this isn't the time to play the bang game, sis. Just shut up. Police department. You got a plan, sir? I'm gonna call. Man, put the gun down, man! Officer, this is me and my brother's house. She is the- I feel like, bruh, I feel like she should have been put the gun down. First of all, you knew the police was there. They gonna be ready as soon as they see a gun pointing. Because that's their job. That's what they was trained for. Why would you still be holding a gun up if the you knew the police came? Put the gun down. Let me see it in my hands. Get out, sir. Get out, get out, get out, get out. Ma'am, please stand up. Come on. Put your hands behind your back. I wouldn't have came if I knew he didn't live alone. All right, ma'am. Do you have any weapons on you? No. No? Sorry, sis. I don't want to talk about this right now. Just tell the officer I'm here. All right, ma'am. I have a pop so they come up and take a statement. I'm gonna go ahead and take it downtown, okay? Thank you. Step four, I'll bring it in. Hey guys, thank you for watching Family Cron. Make sure. That's crazy. You gotta be careful of any opportunities that seem sketchy online of taking because you never know who may be scamming you. But thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned. I'll be back with more videos and I'm out.